Hey everyone. So let's go through, have to answer these questions. It's really, really simple assignment. Um, you don't, I mean, look, I, I actually suggest you do go through the whole thing. I mean, if you want to, it's a really good, SAP is a good uh, program to, to know and to understand. But for the purpose of your assignment, you really only have to know how to do these uh, few things. Create a purchase order um, and then use that purchase order to you know go through the other process so create a goods receipt create an invoice and pay the invoice this is a procurement exercise you're essentially learning how to uh, you know go through that process of like buying uh, materials that you need or inventory that you need and then all, all the things that are related to that like receiving the inventory and paying it and so on uh, in the textbook we have the the instructions and so uh, obviously you'll need to log into sap using your login and all that uh, which you know your login has been provided to you by uh, by your teachers. So the first question is refer to step three of the exercise. So we're going to go there. Okay, you don't have to do any of this, right? Just step three, create purchase order. This is what we need to do. And you want to just follow the steps. So to create a purchase order, it's actually pretty straightforward. You need to go to logistics. Now, if, you, if you're using the new interface of SAP, it looks like this. There's the older interface as well. Um, this one's just much, much better. Um, but it's pretty much the same regardless of which way you're doing it. So you want to look for um, logistics. So that would be under, hold on, let me make my screen a little bit bigger. Material management up here, okay? Material management, logistics, uh, where is it? Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. We're, we're already, we were already in logistics. Yeah, material management and then purchasing. You want to create a purchase order right here. Okay, I know it says like all these steps, but you have it right here. Create purchase order, bingo. So then from here, you want to follow the steps that they are kind of telling you to do here. So we want to start by closing this. And what you want to do here is go and look up the specific items that you're purchasing. And in this, uh, some, in this uh, assignment, we are going to be buying bike parts. So first we have to look for the supplier, like who are we buying it from? And so to do that, you want to, uh, okay, so if we click here, vendor. Now, you don't need to go through all of these steps here, okay? Because they want you to use space bike Space bike is 105, and then the three numbers after correspond to your three numbers. So I'm just going to use the numbers you see here, 001, from the actual book. But if, let's say, your login was, um, you know, learn 123, then yours would be 105, 123. And, and just to show you, if I search here for the vendor, okay, again, you don't need to go through this, so I just want to show you guys what I mean. Okay, and I go through all this, okay, find... You have space by composite, which is this. Okay, 105001. Um, but you... Search term, 001. Oh, it's gone. Okay, so to find your vendor, you could you could do exactly what they're telling you to use here. So I'm going to use 001 as my as my code just because that's what they're using in the textbook. Uh, but you would enter, of course, your number. So if you were like 123, for example, you would search up 123, find, and you have it right there, space, bike, composite, double click, and you'll see it pop up. Or, I mean, now that you understand what it is, you could just type it in. Right, so zero, 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 you gotta put the four zeros, 105, and then your three numbers. So if you are uh, one, two, three, then you put 105, one, two, three. If you're zero, zero, one, you put zero, zero, one. If you're zero, zero, two, you put zero, zero, two, right? So it doesn't matter. You, you just have to make sure that you're putting the correct one for, you, for your account. Okay, let's go with one, two, three. Now, you want to fill in exactly the way they're telling you to, to, to do it here, or you could just follow along with me right now. First, purchasing organization US zero, zero. Purchasing group N00, that's for North America, not that you care. And then company code US00, 
Okay, boom, done. Next, you want to enter your items, and in your in your assignment, they're going to give you the exact items that you want to be uh, buying. I'm pretty sure they want you to look. Yeah, here it is: water bottle, which is cage. Okay, and you can and, and like it tells you, you just have to type it in. You don't have to go through the whole process of searching. So, okay, we're gonna add a new item. Okay, so we're gonna click right here. Okay, item overview. We're gonna expand this so we get here. And here, I'm just gonna type in exactly what you see right here. Look at my mouse. B O T L one, and then my three numbers. Okay, so since I'm using one, two, three, I'm gonna type in B O T L one, and then one, two, three. Okay. Then for the purchase order quantity, you'll put exactly what they want here. So this will be 20, the delivery date two weeks from today. So if let's say today is the 17th of February, then you just go two weeks, one, two. Click right there, good. The net price is $10, 10. And then for the plant, you wanna put MD0. And so plant this here, M, oops, MD0. Okay, perfect. You hit enter. And then you should see it, water bottles, that's perfect. And then you'll go under and then do the exact same thing. So the other one they want you to do is the, the cage. So it's cage, C-A-G-E, one, and then one, two, three. Quantity for that is 30. Uh, the net price is nine. The delivery date, same as the one above. So two weeks from today. Okay, and then uh, M I zero zero would be. I actually think this is M I zero zero. Also, it's just got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not M D. It looks funny, but it's actually M I zero zero. That's probably where I'm getting this red thing here. I couldn't find the plant. M I zero zero. Yeah, there you go. That Miami. Sweet. Okay. M I zero zero for both. We got the, our dates. We got everything. And now this next part is important. Okay. We're gonna hit save, and then you're gonna be given a purchase order number. You need to write that number down. Okay, so I'm hitting save now. Save. And at the bottom of your screen, you're gonna get a purchase order number. Write the entire thing down. Okay, and that'll basically be your first answer. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, four, four, eight. Okay, next, from the purchase order, oh, actually, hold on, this is actually this is actually number two. Number one was just your vendor number. So remember when I said it's 105, whatever, 105, 123, for example, that would be your vendor number. Okay, um, then referring to step four, what we wanna do next is take our purchase order that we just found, that's why this number is important, and essentially record that we are receiving these goods that we ordered, okay? So how do we do that? We're gonna back out of here, okay? And now we want to uh, receive the materials. So we would want to, uh, we are looking for, sometimes they call it follow on function. Okay, so we're going to look for material management. Post goods receipt for purchase order. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. And now here is where you enter that purchase order that we just found. Okay, so I'm gonna take this number, copy it, paste, enter, bingo. 
So we have these two things and you're essentially telling your software now, okay, I received these things. And so here, okay, you're, you have to decide where you're gonna store them, right? So you, they're, you're told to store them in, let's see, uh, trading goods. Okay, so we're just gonna go here, trading goods, double click. Uh, same thing for this one, trading goods, double click. That's it. And again, once you save this, then you'll be given another number and that's gonna be the, the answer you need. So at the bottom right, you see post, click on that. Okay, this is the number you need. Take this number down, copy, paste. Okay, good. Now we wanna create an invoice. Or we'll actually, we want to create an invoice receipt, meaning that, okay, we received the goods, now the supplier is sending us their the, the, the invoice that we need to pay. Okay, so we're gonna click okay. We'll back out of here. Uh, and so now we're looking for something to do with receipts. Uh, if I just search for receipt, maybe I'll find something. Command F. Uh, post goods receipt. No, that's not it. It'll probably be under accounting. Logistics invoice verification. Okay, so invoice is actually what I was looking for. Create supplier invoice. That's the one company code. So company code, remember to use US00 for this, hit enter. Okay, here we are. For the invoice date, you wanna follow your instructions here. And typically for invoice dates, you'll put today's date. So I'm just gonna click on today's date, whatever it is. The amount is 470. That's the, the 20, that's you know the water bottles and whatever the other cage thing was that you were buying. Uh, the, the total amount was 470. Then for purchase order reference, again, you wanna use your purchase order this purchase order number two. Okay, we're gonna plug that right into this box here. Bingo, click, amazing. Uh, so we entered our purchase order. We got this, we're gonna hit enter right now on our keyboards, super. And now you, you essentially just want to, you see these two boxes here, oops. You wanna just click, click, and then hit post. And again, you'll get a number at the very bottom. This is the number you want. This one, I, I don't think you can. Oh, here, copy, paste, perfect. Okay, and in number six, we wanna pay the supplier. So you're gonna back out of, uh, you're gonna go back here, back out of here, and now you want to find your accounting. So up here, um, you have materials management, but then there's one for accounting, let's see. Financial accounting. Look for uh, something like post outgoing payment, that one. Okay, good. So for company code, this is where you're gonna put that company code. So 105, 123. Okay, I'll, I'll take us to that part of the textbook as well. But basically, right, the, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. US000 for this one. The 105, 123 would be the, uh, the vendor. I don't even know if we have to put that. So company code US00. Here you're gonna put today's date. And then you wanna put the, make sure you get the right accounts. So for the GL account, it's, it's uh, 100,000. Okay, click. The supplier here is where you're going to put 105, 123 or whatever yours is. Okay, enter. The amount, same as before, 470. The currency is US as a USD. You could just type it in USD. Uh, there are no fees. Okay, so look at this. Make sure you have all this, all this. Okay, you click here, show items. You're going to see here the invoice. This is basically the invoice that you had received. Hit clear, and now you've effectively paid the invoice, and you're done. Post. You'll get a number, grab that number, copy, paste, and your assignment is done. Okay, it's really easy. These are the only steps that actually matter. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, good luck.